Yo, what's going on guys? It's Jay Mass and I'm back again with another dope New England adventure. So today's abandoned exploration is going to be a pretty spontaneous one. I actually noticed this abandoned site while I was driving. I saw it off the side of the road and kind of piqued my interest. So as a result, this is going to be a pretty quick and spontaneous abandoned exploration. I don't really know what I'm getting into, but we're going to check it out. Um, so this spot I know nothing about, no information, no details. I, I did try to do a bit of research while I could. I just came up with nothing. And again, I discovered it while I was driving, saw it off the side of the road, just very spur of the moment all around. But nonetheless, I thought it looked like a pretty cool and interesting abandoned site. I want to take you guys with me, so we're going to be checking it out. Now, right now I'm in the town of Mount Washington, Massachusetts. If you don't know, Mount Washington is in the very southwest corner of Massachusetts, located right along the borders of New York and Connecticut. And Mount Washington has a lot of natural beauty. The reason I'm here is because I was checking out Bashbish Falls, a very famous set of waterfalls that actually exist in this town. Um, they're actually the tallest waterfalls in the state of Massachusetts. I believe they have an 80 foot drop. So I was checking that out and as I was driving down to Bashbish Falls, I discovered an abandoned barn off the side of the road. It was actually in a random field near me, right along the Mount Washington State Forest. And it really piqued my interest, but you know, I stumble across crumbling, dilapidated barns and farm buildings all the time. The problem is they're usually private property. And if there's one thing you wanna know as an urban explorer, it's not to fuck with abandoned farms because you never know the type of people who are residing there. Um, usually shotgun wielding people, you know what I mean? So I was a little hesitant, but when I drove back, you know, coming from the waterfalls, I took another look at it and this place just looked completely empty, completely barren. I saw no roads, nothing. It, all signs pointed to me that no one used this property. And then that's when I noticed it's actually public property. It's owned by the DCR, which is a Massachusetts conservation organization. So that led me to um, understand that this is a public property, no one owns this building, and it's completely abandoned. Perfect game for me to check this place out. Now I'm gonna bring you guys with me. We're gonna be exploring this abandoned farm building or a barn, which is what I assume it is. Again, I know nothing about it. Don't know when it was built, when it was abandoned, what it was used for. I just know it's an abandoned barn in the middle of Mount Washington, Massachusetts. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. We're gonna be checking it out. But as always, if you love urban exploration, checking out abandoned sites and exploring New England, I always do that on this channel. So feel free to subscribe if you want. You don't have to, just suggesting. <laughs> or you can follow me on Instagram, at jmassofficial, that's at jmassofficial. But we're just gonna get right into it and check out this very spur of the moment, spontaneous abandoned exploration that I didn't have planned. I didn't have this planned at all today here in the town of Mount Washington, Massachusetts. Let's check it out. All right, guys, now this is the very front of the abandoned barn, some sort of farm building, but I assume it's a barn. Now, one thing I do wanna show you, you can see that this is located on a very vast swath of land, a massive field, and located right nearby is the Mount Washington State Forest, which is a public forest, again, owned by the DCR. The Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation. They own this forest and they also own this land from what I understand. And this is the abandoned building itself. Again, I assume it's a barn, not 100% sure. I also don't know any dates, you know, when this was built, when it was abandoned. I don't even know who owned it at one point, but if I find out any information, of course, I will include it below. The problem is I just have no service right now. <laughs> No cell service, no internet, so I can't double check any information. But I did do some research while I could, and uh, I just found nothing. So we're going to venture inside. Um, one thing you'll notice, the roof is mostly made of wood. Got a lot of wood planks here. But then the sides are made of stone, a lot of cobblestone right here. And I really love this old school cobblestone architecture. I find it absolutely fascinating. A lot of older buildings here in New England have that style of architecture. You know, the cobblestone, I, I just, I love it. And I love finding ruins that have that type of thing. But um, one thing about this building that also struck me is, take a look at the structural integrity of this place. I mean, it's falling apart. It's completely dilapidated. You can tell it's gonna collapse at some point. It's weathered many New England storms. Got some crumbling portions of the wall right here. You can see the cobblestone has just completely been destroyed, fallen down. Got some massive sections of wall right there. And the other thing that's kind of disturbing is this is, you, you see these pillars right here, these big 
pillars of timber keeping the building up. That's what they should look like. But a lot of these pillars look like this. The timber has actually fallen off the concrete foundation, the support. And that's how a lot of these are. You got another one right there. This one is just completely floating. <laughs> it, it's wild. I, I can tell this place is gonna collapse at some point. You know, it's not in great shape, but still pretty cool. Obviously not too much going on. It's completely empty though. There are some interesting things. Now this is one of them. I believe this might've been a dog house or something because it's like a little mini shed. You can actually see, I mean, they got some roofing tile right there. If it wasn't a dog house though, it might've been a chicken coop, something like that. Definitely they kept animals in here, whatever it was. Could have been a chicken coop. But yeah, look at this. I don't know, pretty interesting. And then of course you just have a lot of random debris scattered around. There are some pieces of metal right over here, sheet metal. A lot of timber, of course. Uh, some more, some more metal strips over here. Pretty interesting. I also did notice there's a little bit of graffiti on this building. Not a lot, but a little. So clearly this is an abandoned location. You can see some right there. But yeah, pretty cool though. Obviously not too much going on, but I did just want to show you this. Also, you know, I like being the first to document abandoned locations. So kind of cool to me, but yeah. Pretty interesting. Now, the other cool thing about this abandoned barn is the floor. Now, obviously the flooring is just packed dirt and mud. You know, there's no real floor, it's just dirt and mud. But you can see a lot of footprints. Obviously, most of the footprints are humans. You know, you can see shoes and stuff. But what I thought was really cool were the animal tracks. There's a lot of animal tracks here, especially deer hooves. And you can see some right here. Those are the hooves of deer right there. More right there. I thought that was really cool. So it's kind of interesting that deer and maybe moose and other hooved animals are walking in here. I, I assume coyotes, wolves, bears, other animals probably come in here for shelter, but it's really cool seeing the tracks scattered around in here. Interesting. Yeah, so we're gonna take some final looks around. Got some more wooden debris scattered around here, some uh, skids, pallets. And again, I just love this cobblestone architecture. Really cool. Got the windows peeking out. And I will show you a better view of the roof. Now, the roof itself is in, in absolutely horrible condition. It's mostly this side over here. You do have a bit of a collapse, um, or I should say you have a missing piece right there, and then you have a partial collapse over here. And I wouldn't be surprised if this thing collapses with just a few more New England storms especially seeing the way the pillars are like that. But yeah, pretty interesting site. Um, again, not too much to it. I did say this would be a pretty quick video. But yeah, I just wanted to show you what it looks like here. Pretty interesting. Just this random abandoned barn I stumbled upon here in Mount Washington, Massachusetts. Pretty interesting. Now in a second, I'm going to give you guys some views from the exterior. The outside is absolutely stunning. I'm interested to show you guys that. But um, yeah, pretty cool. So I did just want to give you guys another view of the outside. Of course, this is the front of the barn right here where we started. You know, the accessible entrance right there. But I did just want to show you the side and the back because I also found that pretty interesting. So this right here is the side of the barn. Again, get a good view of the cobblestone exterior. I don't know, I, I love that cobblestone architecture. It looks really sick. And you can see the roof is slanted up to a point. Kind of cool. It's actually a pretty low lying building. And of course, right next to the Mount Washington State Forest. Now it is October as I film this, actually mid-October. So the foliage is absolutely gorgeous. Fortunately, it's a bit of a cloudy overcast day, but again, the foliage just gorgeous here in mid-October. And this is the back of the barn right here. Now this is what I was most interested to show you guys, the roof. This is what really captured my attention. So as I was driving down the road to Bash Bish Falls and then back again, this is what really piqued my interest. This really rusted metal roof. And you can see it's just completely misshapen. It's like a, a wave, you know what I mean? It's very wavy. But yeah, this is the back end. You got the crazy wavy roof, not in great condition. 
Yeah, I can really see this thing only weathering a few more storms before it just completely collapses in on itself. It's probably only a matter of time. If I had to make a personal estimate though, I would say this thing was probably created sometime in the early 20th century, you know, early 1900s. That's my guess. I don't think this dates back to the 19th century, but I could be completely wrong. Who knows? Yeah, pretty cool. So this is the abandoned barn here in Mount Washington, Massachusetts. Obviously not too much, pretty quick video, but I did just want to show you guys as this isn't an area I really come to that often. I wanted to film it while I was here. I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, and one more shot of the foliage. Look at that. Stunning. I, I fucking love fall in New England. It's so gorgeous. So I did also want to show you guys the barn from a distance. As you can see, this is the very vast field I was showing you. And of course, back there, Mount Washington State Forest. But that right there is the barn we just explored very far down the hill. And again, absolutely stunning views. We're right here in the middle of the Berkshires, right nearby the Taconic Ridge. It's a really scenic location. I'm sure at one point this barn looked very scenic. Now it's just very run down, kind of dilapidated, but still pretty cool. And it was interesting as I was on the road, which is right over here, I just saw this barn surrounded by the mountains, really piqued my interest. But I did just want to show you that's what the barn looks like from a distance when you're on the road, just swallowed up by the landscape. And again, just can't stress enough how much I love New England in the fall. The foliage is just breathtaking, but pretty cool. Wanted to show you that. Hey, thank you guys for joining me. I've been j Mass as always, and this has been another dope New England adventure. So today we checked out this pretty mysterious and obscure abandoned barn here in the town of Mount Washington, Massachusetts. Obviously this was a very spur of the moment, spontaneous exploration. I did do a bit of research while I could and I just came up with nothing, no details or information on this place. As always, I'll try to look again after, see what I can find, but otherwise I think this was just a very mysterious exploration, which sometimes is pretty fun. But yeah, I discovered this off the side of the road while I was driving here in Mount Washington just piqued my interest and it was pretty cool to check out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed checking out this uh, random ass building here in Mount Washington. As always, my name is Jay Mass. If you love urban exploration, checking out abandoned sites and exploring New England, I'm always doing that. So feel free to subscribe to the channel or you can follow me on Instagram at Jay Mass Official. That's at Jay Mass Official. But I've been Jay Mass. This was the abandoned farm building or the abandoned barn here in Mount Washington, Massachusetts. Also, if you're ever in this area, definitely check out Bash Bish Falls. If you love nature, absolutely gorgeous area. Couldn't recommend it enough, especially in the fall. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.